Hello folks and welcome to this episode of the Appalachian History Detectives. I am here with my son and uh, he is working on my phone right now turning off the geolocation tracker. So we're up here on the mountaintop. We're about 3,000 feet in elevation and believe it or not the Chig is here but he's not right here with me because I found this spot and he's at another spot. But you guys will see his video because he's going to do it on a cave not far from here. And uh, But I'm going to show you a house. I found a house by sheer accident. We, we suspected it was here. The owner told us there was a house up on, up on this mountain. And this is called the Hooks Mountain House. And I was told that it was a logger's house. There's no chimney stack here. And here it is. Here is the foundation right here, and I would think this is an awfully robust, it goes out to that way, out where that tree's down, and it comes across this way, and it comes across here, and guess what? This is where a foundation of a hearth of a chimney was, and there's the chimney stack. So. I honestly don't know if I found a Pioneer house site or if I found an old cabin. What I was looking for is a logger's cabin. Back in the 1880s to 1920s there was a cabin up on the mountain here. But I'm on a big mountain and I was told that it was frame, wood frame, there was no chimney to it and loggers used to live here. But I can't imagine a stone foundation and a chimney stack for a logger's cabin. So I brought my metal detector. We're going to check this place out. We're going to see what we find. Anything I find, you guys will see. I don't know if it's historic. I don't even know what the story is on this, but let's, let's take a look. Stay tuned. Now let's go to the house up on top of the mountain in the middle of nowhere and that's called the Hook Mountain House. It's tucked away and it looks like a little bowl up there. If you didn't know where it was, you'd never find it. Yeah, it's a, that was a, one of the most beautiful thicket of big pines you ever saw. And the loopers hit it, southern pine boar, whatever, probably southern pine boar. And in two years time, it wasn't worth a nickel. I mean, huge, huge, beautiful, the big yellow mountain pine, you know. But now it's coming up thick again in yeah, some kind of up. pine. But uh, sometimes they say that seed will stay for years in the ground. And sometimes if there's a little fire or something, the next thing you know, <laughs> they're growing. My son and I went up there and we found what you call a cave in the hillside, uh, a cistern where the water was. Yeah and the foundation of the old house. Yeah. And what I found there was a piece of an old oil lamp yeah. and a couple hatchet heads. I think you showed me them. One is like it was hammered together, the long loop and built and hammered it for the, for the eye. You stated in the past that timber guys stayed there. Yeah, they, they uh, would go back and stay all week, work on the sawmill or log or whatever, mm -hmm. Friday evening came or Saturday and came, 
they had at home. Some of them lived out on the ridge. Now, was that house gone when you were a kid too? You never got to see I that I never house. got up there. If you got the deer hunt back there, you were pretty lucky and that was it. Other than that, if you didn't have a purpose for being there, you didn't go there. <laughs> it's a far out, isn't it? Way out there. But I'm sure it was a beautiful location because yeah. where that house, where it sat. My uncle Woodrow beautiful. lived back in there off and on for a good bit. And they, wintertime when the ewes were having lambs, I stayed with him before at night. You want to get up and help me? And I'd take a light and go with him out to that cave or beside the house where he had a year or two penned up. He, he, he saved about everything that was born in cold weather. There's a big apple tree or so, a fruit tree right there by that cave. Okay, I have it on Pro Zero. I underscore them all the way down. Sensitivity two down from the top. What I am looking for is signals. And I've already found it in here. That's 75 to 80 right there. So it could be iron, big iron, but it could be something good. So let's take a look at that right there. Right here. I think I found it. I don't know if that's copper from a bullet or if that's lead or what it is, but that's reading a 75 to an 80 right there. I'll clean that up. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Let's keep going. Okay, I just pulled out of this hole this object right here. And it doesn't look lead to me. It looks iron. Do you see that? That looks like iron to me, but it's round. So I don't know if it's a homemade bullet, if it's a homemade round ball, but that's what it looks like to me. But I think it is a homemade lead round ball, but I could be completely wrong. But I wanted to show you guys, I haven't filmed everything I've dug, because if this is a mountain house, and what I mean by mountain house, if this house was a loggers or a lumber house, I'm probably not going to find a lot of brassy things, copper things, silver or coins or anything like that. I could be wrong, but I'm going to show you what I have found. Okay? Um, you guys saw me dig this out of the ground. And let me, uh, let me pull this up. I found this. This looks like metal slag. It's not iron. I'm sorry, it's not lead. But it could be. It could be lead. I just got to get it cleaned up. And I found this piece of pottery. And this is pretty piece of pottery. I can't wait to actually get this cleaned up. You see that? See that bowl? Isn't that pretty? Actually, I found this in the same hole as I found this. But you can see, I mean, I found some cans here too. And I don't know what style of can that is. You can see the, the lid to that. But so far, that's what I found. Right here. All right. See anything yet? I don't see anything. Nope, it's still on the ground. All right, it's in my hand. Right there. It's heavy. I think, yep, yeah, looks lead. Looks lead. All right, let me clean that up. That is a lead. That is a shot lead round ball. That's what that is. And when I clean it up, you'll see the white on there. But that's a good find right there. So, this actually might be a pioneer site. Love to find a corner of buckle. Maybe we will. But that lead round ball definitely is 1800s. So, let's keep going. Right. I just took the plug off of here. 
and you can see it. I don't know what it is. See that? That's an artifact. Yeah. What do you think that is? Have any of you guys seen anything like that? A paddle? Looks like a metal paddle. I don't know what it went to. Maybe a shovel? Did it go to some sort of shovel? I don't know. You can see it's, it's pretty uniform in shape. Yeah, there's a hole right here. Let me get a stick. Now, I think this could have went on a shovel. And this part, I think it could have gone on a shovel. And this here part broke off. That attached it. You can see how it's angled, concave, so something would have gone right here. I want you guys to hear how noisy this is. This is the fireplace right here. So we're right around the fireplace. These are probably nails from the floorboard. Looking for high tones. Okay, we'll try that right there. That's about a 75, 76. All right, oh, what is it? Okay. All right. This is a barrel band. So, I believe... Here's a barrel band. I believe this is the corner right here. I believe there was a rain barrel. There was a rain barrel right here. And that's what this is from. This is from the rain barrel. Maybe they used it to get water. But I'm going to show you something real quick. See this? This is a cistern. There's rocks over there. You can see there's, you may not be able to see it, but there's rocks lining this. It's about 10, 12 foot across. And there is my son. All right, let's keep going. All right, you guys, I want to ask you a question. I just pulled this out of the ground. I thought it was a wheel because you could see the round. You see here, it might have been the axle. But what makes me think that it's not is this. It's opened up here. See that? It almost looks like something was poured in here. And they used it to pour something out. So I don't know. Let me clean that up. I don't know what this is. So if this was a logging or a timber, uh, a logger's house, that's what that's what the landowner told me is he thought this was a logger's house. Is this something you'd see with a logger? I don't know. I haven't found an axe or a hatchet. Or anything right now that indicates to me this is a logger's house but that's an interesting artifact and I don't know what this is but if you guys know what that is please let me know let's keep going all right this signal here was a 64 to 71 let me show you where it's at right there so it could be iron Let's hope not. Let's hope it's a button. Yep, there it is. There it is. Boy, what is that? A, that's a piece of a plow. Okay, now, this tells me if this is a plow, there is no way that this was a logger's or a timber shack. This could have been a farmhouse. This is exactly what this is. This is for a plow. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a good find right there. That's a real good find right there. Look at that. I think I can. I think we can restore that. All right, that's a real good find. Yeah. Looky there. Oh, 
what you guys think of that that's a real nice that's a real nice axe head right there real happy with that it still could be a logger shanty could be a farmer shanty I don't know but you're gonna find that at either kind of place so it would be nice to find a coin or a button that could help us date this place but that's a great find let's keep going Did I get it? It's right here. You know what? I think I see it. I think I see it. This is sheet metal tin. Probably from the roof. I would say that's 10 from the roof right there it was reading a 65 to a 72 that sheet metal 10 all right let's keep going what is that oh it's crockery looks like crockery or maybe some china looks like crock maybe but I got a good hit in here. It was a mid-tone, so I'm sure everything I'm pulling out of here is iron right now. But, uh... It's still in here. Let me pull this out of the way. Let me pull you guys over here. It's right in here. Oh, there it is. Looky there. Hello. That is the top of a lantern. This is where the wick comes out. That's a good find. It's not iron. That's a great find. Let's keep going. See if we find any more of it. All right, yep. More of that. It's another piece of that lantern right there. That's a clip to hold this down. You'll see here, there's a clip right there. This clip would hold the glass globe on there. So that's what this is. It's a clip that holds the glass ring, the glass globe right here. All right, I'm digging in this hole. But my son and I, we found something up here I'm going to take you to. And uh, it looks like a Sasquatch. What, you know, I don't know if you guys watch Bigfoot. Sam Squanch, which is what Chig calls. But I want to show this to you. Do you guys see that up there? You know, there actually there's a building up there. I see a ladder. I wonder if there could have been a uh, tree stand right there. We'll go up there and check that out. But there's definitely is a man-made structure right up there. It looks like there's some man-made structure up there. Here, right here, all right. Oh, that's that is brassy. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there, it's shiny right there. So, it, it to me, this is not this is not um, iron or ferrous. I thought it might be a canning jar lid, but it doesn't look like that either. So maybe there's more in here. Let's take a look. Yeah, right here. Yeah, there it is. Just a little piece. Just a little piece. I don't know. I don't know what that is. We'll put this over here. I don't know. Yes, we're going to see what, if it's a tree stand. If uh, it's something made by... You know, Bigfoot. Okay. Turn you guys around so you can see. Yeah, I think... I think it's a hunting blind. That's exactly what this is. Okay. This is a hunting blind. It goes around here. 
this used to be the tree stand right here and there's a ladder that went up to it and uh, it was on this tree here and I don't know if you guys can see there is a sinkhole right down here I don't see an opening to a cave my son and I we have hit a number of sinkholes up here in fact that's why the chig's up here the chig's up here digging out a cave that you guys I'm sure have already seen by this point in time but that looks like a pile of rocks I wonder if there's something else here I got my metal detector here we'll we'll go around a little bit and we'll go back down to that house and we'll see if we can't find us something that tells us what year that house was there all right let's keep going Big, whatever it is. Could be a plow. I think it's a plow. I think it could be a couple plows. Can you guys see this? I don't know what this is, but it's big. And it's iron. I think it's a piece of plow. That's what it is. That tells me there was a farm up here. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. There is a name right here. It says Oliver. It says Oliver right there. Can you guys see that? So these are Oliver plows. We're going to leave these here. That tells me there was a farm up here. So if there was a farm up here, there's got to be better artifacts than this. There's probably... We just haven't hit the good stuff yet, but we will. All right, you guys, I just found this in this hole. And I know you guys seen these a ton of times. But this is a piece of handmade chain linking right here. Could that be from a logger? I think it could be. It looks awfully thick. Very thick. And uh, I don't think it's just a farm chain. I think it's a big chain that you would use in a logging operation. So I'm going to check around here, see if I find any more down in this here hole. If I don't, we'll move on, but that's a pretty good find. So this things like this is what tells a story for me. And it tells me more indication that this shack up here, and it's right over there, it's right down there. I've got all the artifacts so far, just right in this area, that... Uh, you know, this could have been, could be still, could be a farm. I found some farm implements up here, but it could be people that lived here. Farmed this, but they lumbered up here. And uh, we are way up high on a mountain. It just, it's just odd to me that they would build a house up here. Of all places up here. I'm going to take you guys down here. I'm going to work myself down this area. There is a dugout. The old farmer said, he calls it a cave. It's a, um, what would you call it, son? Where you keep cold storage, maybe? Cold storage room? Uh, where you kept root, like a cellar, a root cellar? Maybe it's a root cellar. But they would put it back in the bank, back in the hillside. And the old timers here call it a cave. And it's not really a cave. I think it's more like a root cellar. All right, so we got something here, and we will keep going. All right, you guys, I just found this. Right here, and this hole right here. Look at that. Is this from a door, you think? A door lock? Could be a door lock. I don't know. I don't know. You guys know what that is? You see anything like that? I think it could be a door lock. I found it in this hole. Let me see if there's anything else in here. Yep. See that? I don't know what that is. Piece of hardware, I think. This is another telltale sign of uh, a homestead. When you're in the woods, uh, you've heard Chick and I tell you guys before, um, finding daffodils 
oftentimes will show you or lead you to an old homestead or home site. But there's something else, and I want to show you this. This apple tree or this fruit tree, it could be pear. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's apple. But uh, there's the cistern over there. There is what is called a root cellar right here. What the old timers call a cave. We're going to check around that. But there is a nice, a nice fruit tree right here. And there is no other fruit tree around. So it's pretty cool actually. It's really cool to come up on something like this. The, the whole thing. You know, you guys, you guys may not appreciate. I'm not finding really good buckles and buttons and coins and things like that. But man, I tell you what, this is on top of a mountain, so whoever settled up here wasn't wasn't wealthy or wasn't rich or didn't obviously have money to begin with. But uh, to be able to come up on this place and so far out in the middle of nowhere, in and of itself, is pretty spectacular in my in my opinion, from a historical perspective. I'd love to know the history of this place, but uh, I love seeing stuff like this up here in the woods and we're gonna go check that out we're gonna see if there's mason jar lids in there because I seem to find them everywhere I go it's it's in the 30s right there it's big it's probably big iron and I'm right there right there is the cellar we're right where the doorway is so it's probably something associated with the door going into that root cellar Right there, son. Might be close to the ground, right to the yeah, surface. I think I might have hit it just now. Yeah, right there, there it is. is. All right, once you pull that up, let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's an old door. There's a brick. It's an old door. It's a door. Oh, it's another one. All right, look at that. Look, that's a ladle. This is a ladle here. This is really cool. This is a ladle for lead. For pouring lead is what that is. That is an awesome artifact right there. And looky here, we got another another hatchet. And this one here has been sharpened. Look at this. Can you see how? Can you see here this line right here? And this line right here. They have ground that down and they have sharpened that blade. So it could still be useful. But that is an awesome find. That is great. Let's see if there's anything else in there, son. We'll put this up there. That's an awesome find right there. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Let me pull my detector out. Maybe right there. So go right there. Let's pull right there. See what else comes up. Okay, hold on. Is that pottery right there? Yeah, I think so. All that for that. Could be lead. It's it's actually heavy. I think it's lead. Alright. It might not be so junky after all. What this is... It's a piece of lead. And I bet you... This, what this is, is a piece of lead, and I know you guys might not be convinced, but it is. It's lead, it's lead, and I think it could be from a bullet. All right, let's keep going. Got a mid tone in here. I don't know if it's iron. Get it. I thought it might be a canning jar lid, but that is not canning jar lid. I don't know what that is. It's brassy. Okay, this is what it is, and I don't know what it is. But it's it's sheet metal, but it's corrugated, and it's brassy. And there's a lot of it in here, so I'm not going to go digging anymore. But here's what I found out of there. I don't know what it is. 
But we're gonna keep moving on. You see it? Yep. Is that it? it? Nope. Nope, I don't think that's it. Oh, no, that's not. It's right here. So let's, I think it's a pot. That could be wrong. Look at that. Be oh. some plow. Man, look how heavy that is. Look how red that is. It's old. I think that someone found on the ground and put it there. All right, let's go do a wrap up. Let's go find the chick. All right, I had my son put everything up here. We'll probably come back. Maybe. All right. We found a lot of stuff. We found two hatchet heads and a ladle. We found a door. This is door hardware here. Not sure what this is. Not sure what these are. You know, we found some old shotgun slugs. I didn't film that. Here's an old hinge, a door hinge or a shutter door hinge. Here's some old porcelain, ceramic. And the only thing that we found that was brassy, really good, is that lantern top. So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to take that out. And the rest of this will leave back here for someone else to find it. We're going to go look for the aqua chigger. He's up here somewhere. There's lots of sinkholes here. And he's digging one out now. But there's some much bigger ones up here. I want to bring them up here. Maybe you guys will see that. I found a bottle right here. We're still at the house. Rolling Rock Premium. All right, well, that's not old. It's got an anchor on there. It's pretty cool. Right? Pretty green. Rolling Rock's out of Pittsburgh, I believe. All right, let's keep going. Let's go find Chick. I told you guys, uh, the Aqua Trigger is with me. Hello. There he is. Uh, he, he, he had another adventure. You guys will already see that adventure. Um, <laughs> but what you guys didn't see was the fact that we found these on our way back. And I'm giving those to Bo, and he can give them to his buddy, friend down in... He can keep them or give them to his North Carolina buddy. He makes that yeah, stuff. Nice. But... Uh, I, I talked about this. See how they sharpened that? They sharpened that blade. You're not convinced. Yeah, they grinded it down, sharpened it. <laughs> sit here and have a chat with Bo. You may see this video again. We may come back. interesting artifact and uh, I think this could have been let me pull you guys over here where I'm at dug this hole right here it's not that deep actually and I'll pull this out of there and I don't know if this is a time for a plow which I suspect it could have been maybe a, a hay rake or something like that maybe it went this way Maybe it went this way. Attached to the equipment right there. Um, I would suspect that's the case. How sharp this is. The first time I saw this, as soon as I pulled it out of the ground, I was thinking maybe a stone tool. But with it being that sharp, I don't think it is. I, I don't know if it's the kind of a tool that will work a piece of stone. I think it went to maybe a hay rake. That's what I think. All right, let's keep going. Okay, I found a piece of file here. You know, it's not a fantastic artifact, but actually, it's interesting to me. Hopefully, we'll find more than just iron artifacts, but at least this tells me there was something right here, and there's a lot of chatter in the ground right here. So let's just keep going. Just dug this hole. It's not, it's not brass. 
it's ferrous, but it's a handle. And I think it's a handle from a pot lid. Does that look like maybe a handle from a pot lid? I think it is. I think it's a pot lid. I wonder if we can find the rest of the pot in here. Interesting little artifact. I'd love to find some brassy thing. You know, an old coin or a button. But uh, right now I've not hit anything that isn't ferrous, which is iron. But this still part of the story for pioneers being back in these back in these mountains so let's just keep going okay i just dug that hole right there and i pulled this out and it says new monumental cook and i'm going to give this to bow he found he found one too right there i'm going to put it right there yep it says same thing bow Bo's right over there. So far all I've found is mason jars. And that that cooking utensil. I don't know if it's a skillet, cooktop, what it is. But uh, we're just a little bit down below where we were on that mountain house. So yep, right there it is. It actually is a piece of lead. I think it's a piece of lead. I thought it was going to be a mason jar lid, but it's not. It's a, I think it's a piece of lead. I'd hit here really on the surface and I kicked it away and here it is and it is a button. It actually looks like a snap button so it doesn't look that old. But it definitely is a button. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than mason jar lids. Alright, not bad. Let's keep going. Got a hit in here. Don't know what it is yet. It's in here somewhere. Okay, it is, that's actually a square nail, and it is in good shape. So I would say this house burned down. And if you look, you can see the old ash layer right here. So that's a nice square nail, and there's the ash layer. Okay, I found a rivet. I have to clean it up. Here it is. It's green. I found it in this hole right here. I mean, look at that. You can see how it's bent. Can you see that? All right, not bad. Let's keep going. I'll have one last scene here. With the chig. You found an axe head. Some handles, some brassies. Any brassies. I got one you found. That's one I found. I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure. And we got a mile to walk just to get back to our vehicles all uphill. Hope you had a great time, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.